All right, so right now we are in the Valle de Guadalupe, AKA Mexican wine country. They are at uh, Rancho Oliveras, the olive tree ranch. They're doing olive trees and they're raising lamb. They have about 3,000 olive trees. We are with Manuel right now, who is the owner. He's got a couple uh, partners, including uh, Chef Miguel Angel, who just rolled up in a camo chef coat. The coolest thing I've seen since I've been here. Um, so let's get the day started. Um, we, we live in, in, in the Mediterranean area. Right. Um, there's only five Mediterranean areas in the world. And in Mexico, this is the only one. The Mediterranean has to be a combination of, of the ocean, of climates, of, of the mountains, of hills. Here in Baja, it's, it's kind of accidental. The temperatures are controlled because of these hills and because of the ocean breeze. Rancho Olivares is also a full-fledged lamb operation. And since we were going to his restaurant, Miguel Angel would not let us leave without seeing his product firsthand. So right now we are outside of La Carencia. Miguel is the partner at the lamb farm that we were at earlier. This is definitely my kind of restaurant. The entire menu revolves around meat and fish grilled over direct flames. Um, it's kind of that rustic, you know, man food that uh, has made me the man I am today. Chef Miguel Angel and Rick are uh, grilling up some leg of lamb. Rick is absolutely obsessed with the grill that Chef Miguel Angel is rocking right now. I wouldn't be surprised if it shows up in Frontera in a few months. It's an Argentinian style grill on one side and a Basque style grill on the other side. Really a, a fusion of fire, if you will. So this might be the rattlesnake tequila, drink, but you know the one thing that is so hard to convey is that you know we we all have family and friends and our daily routines back home and these days are long and they're hard and we're always exhausted but it's the moments like this that for a split second you wish that you know this this whole production could go on forever.